So here we are once again back on the Yamak server. My name is Eep and welcome to my video. Um, I have picked this wonderful area for my base and have been working hard on digging out some of the underneath to use for my storage. So that's going to be brilliant and wonderful and excellent. So let's go have a look at that now. So as you can see, I've built myself a lovely archway and dug out a whole load of stuff here. Um, I do keep running out of some of this thing. And, and I am really loving my beacon, which is very nice. Getting used to it. I've not, not got a lot of it at the moment. I've just got the one layer on my beacon. Paddy up some of this, make it look a bit better. Because I actually do want to make this place look nice. Um, it would be really nice if I could like actually focus on a little bit of the looks as well as the function and make it look, you know, reasonable. Oh, let's go grab some of these. So yeah, not too bad. But this is it so far. I'm I'm quite happy with the archway. I'm planning on building up it up at the top a little bit and just making it a bit more of a feature. And there's a creeper. Die die. So the plan is to have some grass, glass, grass. Yeah, lots of grass. To have some glass about um, for all the little holes. But it's a bit later now and um, my pick was starting to run low. So I started digging down here and look, look, check this out. Not one, not two, not three, but four. Four cave spider spawners. So this, this could be interesting. Um, I'm going to focus on getting these up and running and turning it because I don't have an XP farm at the moment. So I'm going to focus on turning this into an XP farm. So while I've been building this, as you can see, some towers seem to have appeared in the background. <laughs> so hopefully I'm not spoiling anything, but yeah, there's not much I can do about that. She's just in the middle of, you know, right where I'm building at the moment. And then this happened. I got snuck up on by a zombie, quickly started recording and come on, give me my stuff back. That's... It's setting me on fire with my own sword. Ah, oh, and again. I need help. Luckily, T is building just over there, so that's quite handy. <laughs> because it's just, <laughs> give me back my sword. Give me back my elytra. Come on, seriously. <laughs> Oh, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> uh, tea to the rescue. Thank you, tea. <laughs> uh, so she's been looking for some sheep. Well, I'm I'm in a biome where sheep are not going to spawn, so uh, she doesn't want to look around here. Oh, well, anyway, thank you. Bye bye. I've done it. All my spiders. Check them out. And now I can start to repair all my things. Absolutely brilliant. Really happy with it. A small, few small issues. Like um, T is complaining of lag a little bit. Just a wee bit. She ended up flying like a thousand blocks further than she planned to because it just wouldn't let her do anything. Um, and as you can see, all the spiders... Yeah, they're kind of getting stuck in the corner there and all the items kind of jumping up and down a bit. Um, but I can get my XP. <laughs> so I might have to rethink this a little bit and see what I can do. So I'm currently on my spectator mode camera account. Um, I'll give myself night vision. And as you can see, this is inside the spider spawner. Um, it is very, very productive. So these three fall down here into this area. As you can see, I cut into the sides by eight just to make the water streams actually work. I haven't quite worked water streams out yet. And I didn't want to have to put things up along the edge here um, and interfere with it at all. Although 
I probably could have done. But these come along here and then they swoop up this bubble elevator. And I've got the same the other side coming from this spawner. So this is a four spawner system. So again, very, very basic, just water pushing them down this three hole. And well, yeah, sure, they, they get pushed along eventually and they get there eventually and then they go swoop up here. And I'm really not having a problem with the, with them getting stuck because it's just there are just so many. That's really not a problem if I lose a couple on route. Oh, wow, just look at them all. So this is why I've got to be really, really careful. Um, because, look, just, it's just going to lag the server out if I leave these. And before I put this stream in, at the top of the bubble elevator, there's a little stream pushing them along. Um, so that pushes the items as well as the spiders. And when, when they were hanging around it it just made the server unplayable for anyone else so this is why i've had to i'm, I'm gonna have to move my storage system and get it away from here because just the whole being in this area is just gonna massively lag everything out but ah, oh, it's it's really quite satisfying just poop, swoop. I love it. I really love it. They look really cool. I'm really, really chuffed with my spider farm. I've got loads of XP. It's been really easy to use. I'm really happy with it. I was really frustrated, but I'm really proud that I pushed through. And then I was like, oh, what am I going to do with all this stuff? I've got so many spider eyes. I have so many cave spider heads um, because we're using vanilla tweaks so more things drop their heads uh, and I've got no string that's odd why do I have no string so earlier today Twix was like where are all the sheep I can't find any sheep and as you can see she's been busily working away in the background there and I would say spoiler alert but um, she's built it right where I was building and I can't help but show it while I'm recording my segment so tough she was like where are all the sheep I'm like oh okay do, do, do you do you need some wool and she's like oh yeah 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 I need some white wool so I've made her some because apparently you can make white wool from string so I thought I would take her a little bit and while we're over there we'll um We'll just decorate her towers a little bit for her, shall we? So, what do we have over here? Oh, look, that's nice and handy. Oh, she's made a nice handy landing platform. I'm sure she's going to absolutely love that. It looks quite pretty. I might do it the same the other side. You know. I'm not giving her a whole bunch of more wool. Um, maybe the other side I'll put her carpet back. But yeah. I think I think she'll find that quite entertaining. I mean, not that she's not absolutely terrified of spiders, but hopefully these will be okay. But yeah, around the house, I hate spiders too. But yeah, around, around the house... I'm the spider fixer. So, after creating this whole wonderful place for me to live and have my storage and everything, I have now discovered a small problem. You see, there is a spawner under here. And it activates if I'm within 16 blocks of it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You see the problem? The whole of my storage space activates at least one of my spider spawners. 
which is great, but not not really good for the server. Um, like these lag out the server really quickly. Um, and it's oh, I didn't put this there. I mean, that's great. I I'm, I always need some some more chests, but yeah, okay, excellent. Anyway, it's really great for me to have access to these and for them to be spawning quite readily and getting all the loot and stuff. But it's it's really, really not good for the server. Oh, excellent. Really not good for the server. So, long story short, I have to move my storage. Which Luckily, I sorted this monstrosity out before... I built my storage. So where am I going to build my storage now? Because it needs to not be. <sighs> I really liked the idea it had to be expandable. I really liked the idea of it being inside there. Oh, there's another area around here. Basically, what I'm going to do now is find an area for me to have my storage. And then I'm going to come over here. And T has been building very hard. As you can see, she's working very hard on her tower things. Oh, and, and another tower thing. So she probably needs more of this jungle clearing. So I'm going to offer my services to clear some of this jungle for her. And I'm going to keep all the wood because that's just going to be turned into boxes for my storage. And be a good neighbour. I've had a bit of a fly around and right next to, so you can see my um my cone where my storage was going to be next to my hideous monstrosity of my spawners. Um, just next door to it are actually some caverns themselves. So I'm going to have a look at those and see if they're suitable for a storage area because they would be really convenient. I can stick to my original plan um, of just digging something out and having it expandable. Um, but also it would be close enough to all my spider spawners and stuff that I could easily fix them up and have all the items turned up, uh, sent over. And then what I'll do is my old storage area next to the spawners, um, it makes sense to turn that into an enchanting area. So that solves that. So let's go check this out. Okay, so this looks like a cute little area. So one of the issues I was having in the other area was how much mine shaft there was around it. Um... So what I'm going to do is be cheeky and so there's a little bit of a shaft behind this wall over here. Ah, okay, found the creeper. It's yeah, okay. So there's a shaft down here. Um, but that seems to be it. There's nothing around the, the immediate vicinity. So this would make it actually a much easier, quicker and, and just better place for my storage. So I think this is the location for my new storage. So now what I'm going to do is make a cup of tea, grab some chocolate, 
that's probably a good time to stop that episode. I'm going to be working on my storage area next. So thank you very much for joining me and bye-bye.